Hello farmers and welcome back to Western Australia. We got the John Deere 6230 here and we're going to take care of some things around the farmyard. Uh, like finding the trigger for this shed here. So I can spawn, no, not wool. Uh, not wool again, but a hay bale will be good. Oh, not 21. Done that before. Just want one. Thank you very much. And we're going to put that into the sheep's feed trough. Or at least our trigger point. That way they are good to go. Uh, we did sell the male sheep last episode, so they are good to go for another month or two or whatever until I decide to check on them again. Uh, I did feed Twister just a few seconds ago, so that's why they're hanging around uh, where we are at. Where, where were we? Twister? There, there's Twister right there, right behind us. Um, yeah, he is all set. So, with the sheep taken care of, uh, the chickens and ducks should be taken care of. Uh, but, like, yeah, last episode, if you missed it. You missed an episode because we got this equipment right here. New Holland T9 and a seed cart and an air cart. Well, not a seed cart, a seed drill and an air cart. Uh, hopefully we can get to drilling today, which I do believe we should be able to. Uh, but we got some selling to do here very soon. Uh, the compost is ready. So I unfolded that. That is ready to go when I need it. Uh, but the one thing I do need, actually I need to narrow the forks on... The pallet forks here and pick this up uh, one of these two is probably completely out of fertilizer so we're just going to top these two off for now the orchards don't matter I don't need to get to those today because the orchards are not doing anything it's winter time so yeah they're not they're not running at all I can take care of those a little bit at a later time but we will be advancing time here in just a second so we can go ahead and start selling the oats and some of the wheat. We got a whole bunch of wheat, so I think we'll sell some. And now that we got our own drill, I was kind of looking at maybe uh, changing up what we might be drilling in the sugarcane field. So we're going to have one more field of oats, another field of sorghum. But I think the sugarcane field might be soybean, just to mix it up a little bit. Because now with our own drill, as I was saying, uh, we don't need to lease one and try to get it all done in the same month. We now have the opportunity to plant what we want when we want and not have any issues. The only thing with soybeans and precision farming is soybeans don't require any fertilizer at all. So when I go to harvest it, it's going to register it didn't have any fertilizer in the ground. And the score may, you know, we'll get punished on the score just a little bit. I think overall our environmental score is good and I don't want to focus that much on the environmental score and not bother planting soybeans so we'll probably plant soybeans just to have a different crop type in the ground. And once we do sell these oats and wheat and maybe some sugar, uh, the sugar price is looking pretty good even though it's not the peak time to be selling sugar. Uh, we do have three loans, and I'm hoping to pay off the two lowest ones. We'll definitely get one of them done for sure. We're still going to have one big loan. But hopefully, maybe next season we'll have that paid off. I know someone did say, you need to save money for the field that you want to buy. Well, until a field is ready to be purchased, I can always take a loan back out. That's not a problem, as we saw... I think I can borrow like over a million dollars currently. But the way that field's going over there, it may it may take over a million dollars to buy that field. Alright, just to get rid of this pallet, I'm going to go over to one of the orchards and put this in there. Yeah, the farm is really starting to come together. Everything is looking really, really good. Getting the big tractor and the air cart and the drill, that is something uh, I desperately wanted to have. Because trying to lease a drill and then plant everything in one month without having to do extra fees was starting to be uh, getting a little difficult. The more fields you get, plus the long crop rotation, yeah, it gets a little difficult. And plus, a 12 meter wide drill in these big fields, it gets the job done. Uh, by having an 18 meter wide one, that's even better. All right, so I just thought I was almost done with it. 
My forks are underneath the ground. And now my John Deere is up on the shed. <laughs> what am I... There we go. Physics at its best. Uh, yeah, I want to get these pallets out of here. And we can put these into the drill. Now, it's been a moment since I used this drill, so this may not go as planned. First, I gotta remember what button it is. Okay, it is that one. So, I don't know if the first one's seed and the second one's fertilizer, but we'll try this. So, can I not do this directly? Oh, no, there it goes. All right, we got that one. And there's that one. Let's see, I got 20,000. I think I got enough money to fill this up with seed and fertilizer without breaking the bank. Let's put the John Deere away. Now it's going to be a little tricky for me to get this all lined up. Just ignore the birds. They're fine. And then turn around here. And am I not in the trigger? I would have thought I was. Maybe I'm too close to the shed? I've done this before. <laughs> I know this works. I did it on Oceanside Forest for the same hut. Let me try shifting this over and see if that... Alright, that fills up with fertilizer. Alright, I'll find the sweet spot. <laughs> it's got to be somewhere for the seed. Alright, now I found the sweet spot for the seed. I'm going to have to try to remember it's near... That edge of the seed hut. But now we're full of seed and fertilizer. We are good to go in the future. Let's go ahead and fold that up. Uh, I guess I'll park this in the big shed over there if I got room. I know it sounds weird to say that, but... It is starting to get a little bit crowded over here. But now that the silage bales are gone... There we go. Get it out of it. The elements there. That's good. That's all good. All right. With that being said, we're down to 5,657 bucks. But let me go in advance time because the price, as I said, is going up on the wheat and the oats. Best time to sell it is July. Yeah, the sugar best time should be January, but 505, 524. And I could get another 114,000 on it. So I'm going to keep my eye on that as well. So I'll see in a little bit when either the sugar price peaks or when the wheat and oat price peaks. Soybean, we do have a decent amount of soybean, but that won't be sold until January. And anything else of significance I should be keeping my eye on. Well, the sugar cane, I could, uh, sorry, cane juice, I might want to be selling that today as well. But I'll see you in a little bit and we'll be selling something. Three o'clock in the afternoon, the snow has arrived and the best price for at least this time of the year for sugar has arrived now let's go pick it up it's not going to take me as many trips as it usually does because these should be 5,000 liter pallets a piece i hope 
And yes, they are. And they don't weigh that much, which is great. Uh, let's go ahead and start loading up the sh uh, sugar here. So I'm probably going to have almost a full trailer of sugar just from this right here. But it's going to fit all into one trailer. 125,000 liters right now is what I got in there. And... Yeah, that's all going to be it for that one. So let me go ahead and put that one back on to... Uh, which one am I at? This one here. Make sure I put that back on to distributing. Alright, and then... Oh, I'm kind of facing the wrong way. So let me spin around here. I'll make sure I don't drive through that trigger. Because all the sugar would then go into that... <laughs> go into that shed and I have to take it back out. So only two trips for sugar. Um, the summertime is when the sugar is at best price. And I think last time I had to take like eight trips, but this is going to make it a whole lot better. So let's look at what we got here and where I'm bringing it. I think it's to we take everything or things go here. Things go here is where I'm going. Uh, so sugar 515. Okay, the price has dropped by a buck. Um, but 515 best price is 524. Close enough, right? All right, let's go sell a whole bunch of sugar and we'll come back get some more sugar and maybe some cane juice as well. And third person view, it looks like there's just a trailer going on down the road, but there's a truck in front of it. And we do got the beacons on. Not that it matters too much in Farming Simulator. Just want to take it careful around the corners. Don't really want to be tipping over. Although I think these pallets are actually lighter than 1,000 liter pallets. All right, let's open up the curtain here so we can see them being sold. It's going to be nice to get rid of a couple of the loans. That way we're not having such a big payment at midnight for the loans and the loan interest that comes along with it. Perfect. 123.553 now is what we have. So let's go back at the rest of the sugar and we'll have a look at the cane juice and see if it's uh, time to bring that on down also. Alright, the last of the sugar going on into the truck. And you know what? I think we'll just go ahead and take the cane juice anyways. It's got to be going down to that sell point, I would assume. Is there any more sugar? The second I got out of the truck, that's when it spawns, right? Uh, nope, there is no more sugar. Because 5,000 liter pallets and there's only 2,200 left in there. So let's go ahead and make sure I put that back on to distributing. All right. And let's see, the cane juice. Let's go ahead and put that on. Spawning. And this needs to be put on spawning. And let's see where the cane juice is going. Yeah, it looks like the price is not going up. 615, 635, still pretty th pretty good price there. And yeah, it's going to the same location. These should only be a thousand liters because the mod that makes these 5,000 liters, that mod is for base game products only, and cane juice is not a base game product. So those are still 1,000 liters, but they do stack up pretty high. Kind of hoping we can get all of the cane juice from this production in there. I think we did. Uh, still says 38,000 liters in there. So that should have spawned. Oh, there it goes. 
I think the game had to think about it. <laughs> All right, we're full. So let's go ahead and sell what we have here. And then I'll have to come back and get the rest of the cane juice. Uh, the cane juice is going to take me a few trips to sell. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. The money is starting to roll on in once again. All right. Got to be real careful going around this corner. Because this cane juice weighs a lot. I'll have to see how much one of these pallets weigh when I get back up to the sugar production. I, did have, I didn't have the problem coming down with the sugar at the corner. Uh, but I did have the problem at the corner with this load with the trailer bouncing up and down. I think it has something to do with the weight. It could be the way the map is done and the roads are put there. Maybe like a little bit of a they're not quite even, so there's a bump there. But we made it here. Trying to get this all in one go. That's all of it. Perfect. Let me go ahead and close up that curtain. And we'll go back get some more, but we're up to 170,000, which is good. Um, I want to pay off the medium loan first, which is like 300,000. 283. I want to pay that one off first, and then uh, I'll work on this $83,000 one. But we should easily be able to pay off both those loans once we sell the oats, wheat, and the rest of this cane juice. Another full load of cane juice and the brakes, are they going to work in time? Barely made it. I did have a look. One pallet of cane juice, a thousand liters, weighs a ton. And we got 54 pallets in there, so 54 tons. If I were to weigh this truck completely... I would say that should weigh more than that. That's saying 65,000. Although, that might be in kilograms. Would that be right? I have no idea. Uh, but either way, let's go ahead and sell this cane juice, shall we? Uh, we we got to get some more. Uh, there's going to be another full trailer load and then some. I'm probably going to have like three or four pallets left over and I'll probably just stack them on top. But this holds 54, and I think there's going to be like 60-some-odd pallets left in the other production buildings. So, I'll stick them all in there. 54 of them will load automatically. But there we go. Some more cane juice sold. And I'll see you back down here one more time with a little bit more than that of cane juice. Definitely way over the weight capacity for this trailer. You can see as it goes around this corner, it does hit like bumps underneath. Uh, even on this trip here, because I got more than the previous time, even on the straightaways, I've hit a few. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I think it's just because the trailer is sinking through the ground because I do have the weight limit turned off uh, for trailers. I don't want weight restrictions. If I had weight restrictions, I don't know how many pallets I'd be able to hold of cane juice. But we got 57 pallets back there this time. Kind of, I kind of wish these did spawn in 5,000 liters per pallet. Uh, that would save me on trips. And also, I think the weight would be adjusted just like the, the sugar was. I got to be careful about tipping over because I don't think even with super strength, I would be able to pick this up and turn it over. So that would really suck. So. Going to take it slow. Just to make sure we get there. So this is going to get us around 240,000. Maybe 250,000. In the bank account. Is that correct? Although I do got a pallet on its side, and that's not going to sell. 
Those are the ones I threw on top. Uh, but if I were to... Oh, that one's sold. Let's see if I can get this one to upright itself. I was trying to unload it, but it wouldn't let me do it. Oh, there it goes. Now it's selling. All right, 247, 200. Not too bad. All right, so that is all the pallets that need to be sold. Now we just got to wait on the oats and the wheat price to be good. I think we're going to sell it just before sunset. And even if the price is the best down here, I'm going to check the grain mill. If the price is not that far off, I may just go ahead and sell it at the grain mill just to save myself time to travel down here. Um, but yeah, the best price, it does say July, but as we all know, with the stock market page, it always seems to be, if it tells you a certain month, it's usually like at midnight the month before, but I don't want to be selling in the dark. Alright, swapping out this semi-trailer for the grain trailer. The one thing I haven't seen yet is how fast is this silo? Is it going to be able to fill up this trailer? I'm hoping being a big silo that they put a big uh, big charge on it distributing. Um, well, I don't know what the best price is going to be first. So let's get to the stock market page and we'll scroll up to here. 643, 643, things go here. Okay, so the wheat is going to the grain mill currently. Let's see what the price difference of oats is. Uh, grain mill, 632, I still think I would just want to bring it to the grain mill. Just because it'll be so much better. Uh, let's go ahead and fast forward time. Uh, I will throw the lights on the truck. Or turn them on. Uh, let's see here, 403 still at the grain mill, 645. I know I said I didn't want to sell in the dark, but if you're trying to get the best price, I don't want to go past midnight either because I want to pay off the loans before that happens. So see myself, okay, so the oats price is, is peaked. Nope, now it's going back up again, 648 at the selling station grain yard. Um... Grain mill price is still going up also. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. In case we happen to go past midnight, let me go to here. And we're going to take this loan right here. And we're going to make special redemption. Wait, how much money do I got? Okay, we'll take $240,000. we will pay off 240000 on it. There we go. Just in case. All right. I know I didn't. Say, I said I didn't want to sell in the dark, but yeah, I'm trying to get the best price that we possibly can. Okay, how are we doing here? So we still going to the grain mill. That price is going up. As long as the old price is showing me that's going up, I'll see what the grain mill is. We may be uh, spending the night in the truck, basically. All right, six fifty six, and the price is going down on it. Um, but the price is going up at the grain mill. All right. Uh, wheat price is peaked, so let's slow down time. And how much wheat do I have? 305,000. And the chickens currently are chickens and ducks. 22,000. But that number is going to go up as we know. So I got I should keep at least 100,000. All right, let me go ahead and load up with the wheat. All right, that does not discharge that fast. Especially when we got a whole take 60,000 liters. So, this is going to take a while. So, I don't think even watching a time lapse in the dark is going to show much. So, let's see. If I sell 200,000 liters... My brain can't comprehend the price, but I'm going to... 
uh, not, I mean, it says max value 119,000, but I'm only going to sell two thirds of that. So we're going to have like 70, 80,000. So uh, I would guess anywhere from between 80 and 90,000 in the bank account once I get done selling the wheat. Yeah, this is uh, for a big silo. I'm, I was kind of hoping that would uh, fill up a trailer a little bit faster. Three full trailers have been delivered. And now I'm filling up with 27,000 liters, which will leave me 100,000 liters for the chickens and ducks for the upcoming season. Even though we're not planting wheat, we will have sorghum, which I should be able to feed to the chickens and ducks. Yeah, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and sell this. I have a slight concern that being a production building, I'm wondering how much grain the grain mill can take of each product. But so far, we're doing okay. I still need to do more landscaping around here. I got to put more concrete around our production buildings, especially on this side here from our shed over to the grain mill. This makes sense. I, I actually go through here quite a bit. Probably shouldn't be traveling across my grass field either. But it's winter. The ground's probably frozen anyways. Please tell me you're going to take it all so I don't have to go all the way down to the store. Perfect. Uh, 102,000. Let's go ahead and get rid of that, that, uh, the bigger loan. Which now is this one right here. I say the bigger loan, but now it's down to 43,000. Uh, 43,727. 43,727. And it tells me right there what the price is. Perfect. Uh, I have 60,000 left in the bank account. All right, I got 59,000. Uh, let's put 59,000 into here. And after paying that all off, if I needed a loan, because I know a couple people are interested. Now, currently, I can borrow 1.8 million if needed. So, more than enough for the bank for allowing me to buy that field. Uh, which, I don't think that's going to change. I We're still in the same month by, re, you know... I have uh, reloaded the game since last episode. And yeah, still 60% over the base price, which I'm not that interested in buying as of yet. But I'm hoping that will be our sugarcane field this upcoming season. All right, with the wheat being sold, now we got to go back and just kind of wait on the price of the oats and see what that's going to do. I'm going to keep my eye on the grain mill price because that's where I'd rather sell it. And I do got some time because as we know now, this silo does not fill the carts that quickly. I mean, it's not bad, don't get me wrong. But when you're waiting for 60,000 liters to load on up, it takes a while. Alright, so we're just going to start filling this up with oats now. Yep, 102,000, that's good. And 275,000 liters of oats, so a good amount of oats left to be sold. Alright, let me get to the page I need to be on. Uh, which is going to be actually this one here. And this is the price. So the peak price was six fifty seven at the selling station. I wonder if I'll get there on the grain mill. But I'll see you when the price, price has peaked. And we'll see if we're anywhere close to that. Well, unfortunately, uh, just past midnight and the price has peaked. Uh, I'm, I owe $19,000 to the bank just to get my normal funds back to normal. Normal funds back to normal? Uh, upper right hand corner. Yeah, we're minus 19,000. So I need to take care of that. Um, the oats, 641, and it has stopped there for quite a while. So being $15 more per 1,000 liters, I will bring it on down to the selling station down at the grain yard. So it's going to take me a while to do it. I'm still filling up with the first load of oats. So uh, it's going to take me a little bit, but I'll see you when I see you and taking down the last bit of oats. And we'll see where we stand. But, um, yeah, the loan payments were not that bad because, yeah, now we only got to pay 19000 Yeah, we were pretty much at zero. But uh, $19,000 a month is what we got to pay. But we'll get rid of this loan here. It's only 20000 And we'll probably even put some money, take some money out of that loan right there. So I'll look even a little bit better. But anywho, um, I'm going to start making my trips down. Uh, it's going to be like about 
two, three, four, five trips somewhere in that vicinity. So I'll see you in a bit. And finally, the last trip with the oats. Um, as much fun as it is selling stuff and getting all the money coming on in, waiting for that silo to fill up this trailer, that does take a while. It takes about uh, a minute. It's almost uh, a thousand liters per second. So a minute to fill up the trailer, which may not seem like a whole lot of time. But we're just sitting there just watching a fill and you got to do it five, six times. Seems like it takes forever. But finally, all of the hard work we did last farming season is paying off with selling of the wheat, the oats, the sugar, the cane juice, and all the other things we sold this past year. Wait, is that emptying out the grain door? Why is it emptying out the grain door? I was like, why is that selling so slow? There we go. That's better. So we got 184,000, so let's go back in. So uh, we already gone past midnight, so it's not going to eliminate the loan completely. Uh, but let's go ahead and pay off the 20,232. All right, so we owe nothing on that. And I have 164,000. I think we'll, we'll pay off 64,000 on that loan and leave myself 100 grand. There we go. And now if I want to take out a loan, I could borrow 2.1 million. So, yeah, we are we are doing just fine on the farm. Uh, I know there's been a comment about uh, going back and doing contracts to bring in the money. Really, the farm's bringing in more than enough uh, for what we're doing here. And I don't want to be doing any more work on other people's farm uh, on their lots if I don't have to. Unless I would buy it. But then again, uh, by doing so... With precision farming, I may over-fertilize something of that nature. So I don't think, yeah, any more contracts are necessary. As, uh, yeah, the farm's doing just fine. But anyways, back to the farmyard. And let's get to planting season. I'm going to get back to doing some real farming. Sped up time on the way back to the farmyard. And now we can see the sun rise. Which is nice to see. Uh, boy, it's getting kind of crowded in <laughs> In our, in our shit over here, which I thought I had plenty of room over here a while ago, but that kit that we bought for planting has definitely taken up a lot of its uh, a lot of the space here. I can see in the future getting the grain trailer that I usually end up using that holds 120,000 liters, just to cut down on some trips here and there. That may be in our future. All right. Now I got to take an assessment of what's going on on the farm itself. So everything's been sold. I do believe that we need to be selling. Uh, let me check the stock market page. Uh, hey, no, we keep that. Anything in the green, green? Uh, well, onions, but I do believe we're using that. So yeah, nothing as of now. We just got to stockpile some more stuff up. Uh, fabric and will be coming up in November. So, yeah, we're in July. So we got a little ways off on to that. Oh, I probably should check on the birds on their feed trough. Okay, they got 51,000 liters in the trough itself. All right, so they're fine. They are good. Uh, so July, yeah, we really don't have not much to do. I am going to go over and take care of the sheep. I think we're just going to go fast forward through the month. Uh, but I want to make sure I got enough hay in the feed trough. Oh, we still got a bale there. But they're going to go through that, I'm sure. And maybe I should go sell any rams that were born. But we're going to go ahead and just put another bale in their feed trough. Just to be sure. Uh, yep, we just want one. At least I might hit escape today on the keyboard. Got a couple pallets of wool. Oh, we should feed Twister as well. I would like to see more uh, different breeds of dogs. 
that we can have. And boy, that was terrible trying to grab that pallet. I know there's a few mods out there that give different breeds, but... Getting the mod that definitely made the pallets five times the capacity has saved me quite a bit of space and time for the wool. We even put a light down here of spending so much time taking care of the wool. Alright, uh, Twister, I don't know where you are, but there's your food. Alright, so now we're just looking for... We're up to 462, so boy, they're reproducing quick. It should be just one stack of males. This should be the lone male. So now we're just looking for the males that were born last night. Which are right here. And we got 39 of them. Just shy of 5,000. And that should all be that we have. So perfect. And now we need to go take care of the chickens and sell all the males for chickens and ducks. I don't want to get those out of control. Once again, you know, the males don't lay eggs, so they don't help us at all. And they're just taking our feed currently. So right now we just got to get to the month of... I think it's August for planting, right? Is it August that we finally start planting and finally get to use that equipment that we got? Okay, it's actually September. All right. So we'll just be skipping another month after this. All right. So uh, female, female, male ducklings. 12 ducklings. Yes. And now we're the male chicks. Just four. And the rest should all be females. Yeah, I don't have to look at the uh, the adults because we should just have one of each. Yep, we are good. All right. Uh, should I check the sale page just because? Ooh. Well, it wasn't what I was going to go for. How? It's 75, 75% off. But I would have to get... That already has sea and spray already on it, too? For 22000 Um, 24, can I go up to... 28? For only $5,000 more. I mean, yes, please. That, w that was unexpected. I know Hudson said he wanted everything new. Uh, we can swap it out later on, but I'm not going to pass that up. Um, well, I'm glad I checked the sales page. All right. Uh, yes, we are all set to go through. Oh, I should check on the tableware. Where's the tableware? I, I want to make sure that's not getting full. Why is it not showing... Let me just take a trip over there. Make sure that it's in the uh, spawn point. Alright, the spawn point has stuff in it. Okay, just want to make sure on that. And I'm sure the sugar production is more than fine. So let's scroll back on down to the sugar. Yeah, it's got plenty of sugar cane. Plenty of sugar cane. Alright, let's teleport to the house here. And we will sleep until 9 because we're not really doing anything other than wait I think I slept in 9 alright I got. I guess I gotta pass some time then something that has uh, I think changed in FS25 I think we can go to sleep at any time and there's a slide marker that will allow us to determine how long we want to sleep for all right, uh, can I sleep now until 9? There we go. Just got to get past that hump. 
so the clock doesn't get too confused. And we'll be skipping another month here. Oh, out the door, out the door, thank you. Alright, uh, chickens, we'll check on them. Just gotta sell the males, and same with the sheep. Alright, scroll on down, there are the male chicks. 22. And female, female, where are the, there they are. 17 of those. All right, you guys are sold. If I've got two hay bales still up here in the feed trough, I won't bother with the sheep put, putting another bale there. Uh, how much is in this bale? All right, just, uh, I may have to take care of that. All right, so now we got to find... Female, 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 ram. 27. 27 sold, and that should be it. All right. Uh, I'm sure this one's fine. <laughs> I'm sure they're fine. Uh, let me spawn... Another hay bale. Starting to, I feel like I'm going through these faster than I thought I would. Alright, let's grab the John Deere. And we'll put that into the trigger and we can get to the month of September and we can start actually planting a crop. I didn't think it was going to take me over an hour and a half in real time to sell all the products when I sold a whole bunch last episode. Selling takes a whole bunch of time. Although, it definitely has progressed the farm quite a bit here in the last few episodes. Oh, I have not been checking the cotton field. And if it's still at 60%, I may rage. So I don't want to pay 60% over the, over the price of that field. Alright, get these in the shed. Alright, and then we'll check the price in that field, but... I guess even if I paid 20% over the price at this point, I'd be happy with that. Uh, let's see what we got here. Well, it's down to 50% over the base price. I mean, do I want to call that good? Maybe not. I did notice on uh, the Mythical Woods map that I just started Let's Play on. By the way, if you missed out on Saturday, we started a new Let's Play on the Mythical Woods. Go check it out if you haven't. Uh, I did see, because I'm running the same mods, basically, um, one of the fields was like 75% over the base price. I was like, I didn't know it went that high. All right, I did check the... Ooh, there is some good stuff in here. Um, 60,000. That holds 70,000 liters. Well, and then there is a forge wagon that we really don't need. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go ahead and get any of that stuff. Uh, not today, anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and we will sleep until... Boy, I probably got to advance time a little bit. All right, that should allow me to sleep until 8 o'clock.
going from winter to spring. That's why it takes us a little bit of time going through the night. And there we go. Let's go out the door. And sale page. Cotton harvesting. <laughs> don't think I'm going to get into that. Uh, sugar beet cutter. Don't need that here. Uh, we're doing sugar cane. Now it's back over to take care of the birds. And the sheep once again. Eventually you won't have to worry about it. Uh, male ducklings. Nine. And then the male chicks. Must be just eight. Almost up to 200 females running around the bird pen. And now for the sheep. And the sheep are getting pretty close to having all females here. Uh, let's scroll on down here. Uh, female, 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 ram. There we go. All right. So with that being said, uh, the animals are taken care of. They got a bell there. They're fine for now. So this month we can plant. Uh, the oats need to go in. And that is it. Uh, what field am I doing the oats in? I think I'm doing the oats in that field over there. Uh, but the one thing I should be doing is we will grab the Massey Ferguson and we'll go down to the store and grab our CN Spot uh, sprayer. And we'll take care, I think, of... I'm, I'm hoping the crop hasn't grown to a second stage. If it has, then I think the 6230 will be able to put uh, narrow tires on it. So I don't damage the crop. Ooh, that's the one thing I didn't check on the CN Spot sprayer to see if it had narrow tires on it. Yeah, usually it doesn't matter uh, because I'll be spraying the weeds in the first growth stage. Uh, but let's go down and grab that and see what the situation is with our canola field, I think it is. Well, the canola field, unfortunately, or fortunately, it all depends on when I look at it, um, has grown to the uh, next stage, so if I were to go in there with anything but narrow tires or row crop tires, I'm going to destroy the crop. So that's going to be a job for the John Deere, so I'll have to bring back the CN Spot Sprayer. Uh, I don't know if the CN Spot Sprayer is always narrow tires on it or what. Now, the good thing about CN Spot Spraying is we're not going to need as much herbicide at all. I do have an IBC back at the farm. I don't know how much is in there uh, for herbicide. But I'll probably fill up the sprayer and I may never have to fill it again. Be kind of interesting to find out. Let's go see our CN Spot sprayer. 75% off. I don't think Hudson's going to mind too much if I buy a few things that are on sale, especially when it comes to something like this. Yeah, that, that does not look like narrow tires on that. I think the trigger for the shop is like right about here. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's go to here. I mean, I'll repair for 531. Repaint it? Of course not. Um, narrow tires will cost me 500. Well, we'll put them on. Why did that go back to... That reset my working with. That would have frustrated... I'm glad I caught that. That would have frustrated me to no end. Uh, we'll customize that with narrow tires on it. And while I'm down here, I might as well repair the Massey Ferguson. There we go. So now we got narrow tires on the sprayer. So that, that will never matter. Yeah, I might as well just leave the narrow tires on because... I mean, it's not that much weight that can be put back in there. So they should be able to handle it. And if I ever need to go into, like, the canola field that we have, 
I'm not going to damage the crop in the future. But usually we'll be, uh, now that we own the sprayer, uh, we will be using it in the first growth stage from now on. So let's get back to the farm and we'll put some herbicide into this. And uh, I think we'll wrap up the episode there, actually. Don't know how long of an episode it's going to be. I've been recording, like I said, for over an hour and a half. Actually, pretty close to almost two hours now. Don't know how it's going to all combine on down. I know I did a lot of jump cuts with me filling up the trailers with the grain. But overall, it was a very productive winter. And uh, we'll finally get to use our new setup for drilling. And also get to use our new CN Spot sprayer as well. Well, now with the setup that we got going on now, should not really have any more pallets and crates of material around on the farm because everything pretty much has something to go into. That is herbicide. Yeah, okay, it is herbicide. Okay, wasn't a whole lot in there. <laughs> And like I said, that should last me. I don't want to say it's going to last the whole series, but it may just do so. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just park this right here. Yeah, the 6230 will have to use this with the narrow tires. Turn the beacons off as well. So, yeah, we got all this old, new equipment. We haven't been, really been able to use it as of yet. But next episode, we'll use them all. Use them all. We'll plant the oats. We'll take care of the weeds. And uh, the grass field is should not be ready. I do not believe. It may say ready for harvest, but it'll be in the first harvest stage. No, it's in the... Oh, no, it might be ready for harvest, actually. Yep, but not the max harvest. Um, and that'll be for silage next episode. And I did leave the lights on the truck. There we go. Problem solved. Uh, yeah, before I forget though, because we are in another new month. Uh, what are we doing over here? Still at fifty percent over. <laughs> uh, that that's that's getting frustrating. Um, what's going on with the field, anyways? Uh, so it's been cultivated at least. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And uh, sugarcane is coming up for planting, right? Sugarcane is now or next month. Well, I guess uh, wait until October and see what happens to that field. That, that's the, that's the only that, that's going to be a kick in the you know what. Um, I don't know. Maybe if that keeps staying at fifty percent over, and it may jump back up to sixty percent over the base price next month. I may not plant sugarcane at all this year and just keep waiting. I don't know that field is just not budging anywhere, or buy another field and just split it. And plant a little bit of sugar cane into something. I don't know. Uh, but next episode, we're going to have... I, I'm going to be smiling because we're going to be using the new Holland T9, the new drill, and, of course, our CN Spot John Deere sprayer as well. Uh, but once again, uh, just uh, in case you missed it uh, a couple days ago, new series, Hills of Tuscany is over, and uh, we started a new series on the Mythical Woods. Uh, go check it out if you have not, and uh, maybe it'll be right up your alley. Who knows? But here, if you liked what you saw today, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps out the channel and the video more than you know. Also, lets me know that you enjoyed seeing the content you saw here today as well. And while you're down there, that notification bell and subscription uh, button, if you haven't uh, tapped those yet, I want to think so, so you don't miss out on more content like this. But that is where we are going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in Western Australia. But until then... Have a good one.